Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 28 of 2022, restructuring the National Committee to Combat Chronic and Non-Communicable Diseases. The committee will be headed by the Minister of Health and comprised of the following members. The Assistant Undersecretary for Public Health at the Ministry of Health. The Director of Public Health at the Ministry of Health. The Director of Health Promotion at the Ministry of Health. The Director of Testing and Metrology at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. The Director of Animal Wealth at the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning. The Director of Youth Empowerment at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. The Director of Communication and Environmental Awareness at the Supreme Council for Environment. The Director of Community Partnership at the Ministry of Education. The Director of Television at the Ministry of Information. The President of the Psychiatric Hospital. The Head of Medical Services at Primary Health Care Centres. The Head of Cardiology Department at the Governmental Hospitals. Consultant and Head of the Department of Cardiothoracic and Vascular Surgery and Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Specialist Cardiac Centre. Senior Family Medicine Consultant at the BDF Hospital. Consultant of Endocrinology and Diabetes at King Hamad University Hospital. A member of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The President of Bahrain Cancer Society. The President of the Anti-Smoking Society. And the Vice President of the Bahrain Diabetes Society. Members of the committee shall serve for a three-year term. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure with the outstanding results achieved by the Bahrain Endurance 13 team in a sub-7 and sub-8 race in Germany, which has held for the best four competitors in the world in the triathlon. His Highness indicated that breaking records affirms the successful march of the team in the initiative. Sheikh Nasser affirmed that these results reflect the team's honourable representation of the Kingdom in external forums and their keenness to achieve positive results. His Highness said that breaking the men's triathlon world record is a clear indication of the team's high potential. He added that many goals have been achieved with the team's participation in the initiative, in addition to the continued prosperity of the Kingdom in international forums, which contributes to achieving the Kingdom's economic vision 2030 and making sports a major factor in promoting it. His Highness also said that the team demonstrated its high capabilities and commended its positive participation that has shed light on Bahraini sports. Under the patronage of the Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, the Shura Council organised the Economic Recovery Forum, held in cooperation with the Bahrain Institute for Banking and Finance and under the sponsorship of the National Bank of Bahrain. The forum, which was organised in conjunction with the Economy Recovery Plan, which came in implementation towards achieving His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision in support of Bahrain's efforts to achieve fiscal stability, kick-started with a keynote speech by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, where he outlined comprehensive measures adopted by the Kingdom. What has been discussed today was the development that happened in the telecom industry, and I'm pleased to say that more than two billion uh, dollar investment has been made during the last 10 years. This is why today we have a national broad network all over Bahrain, fiber optic network that reach all the businesses and residential area in Bahrain. And Bahrain was the first nation in the world to have a nationwide 5G coverage uh, compared to the other countries. Uh, we are targeting increasing the contribution of the financial sector and the GDP from 17 to 20 percent within the next three years. Through uh, several initiatives that the central banks are going to take with in conjunction with the, uh, the banking and the insurance sectors. Uh, part of these uh, initiatives will be covering fintech and uh, electronic payments. And we are hoping that through this it will make doing business in Bahrain easy, uh, faster and cheaper. Bahrain's economic recovery was under the spotlight today at the Economic Recovery Forum, the forum which aims to enhance financial stability by highlighting qualitative initiatives and procedures to achieve national sustainability and economic development, brought together the elite presence of senior officials and representatives and major industry operators to maximize the potential opportunities in the country. We in Bahrain, we, look at, we are looking at a recovery program 
with a sustainable economy structure for the next 20 years to, to create decent employment for Bahraini uh, citizens, especially we have young, enthusiastic, hardworking Bahrainis that uh, will have the opportunity. As we know that we have today uh, almost 600,000 expats working in the country with different aspects, with different talents. Uh, these are all opportunities for Bahrainis to take their place. The forum discussed four main axes based on the priorities identified in the economic recovery plan, which were developing human capital, facilitating procedures and promoting legislations, supporting promising sectors and strategic projects, in addition to financial sustainability and economic stability. We are pleased uh, for this uh, conference because it gave the private sector uh, an idea of what the government is doing to stimulate the economy. For what we saw from the presentation of uh, uh, His Excellency, the Minister of Finance, that there are a lot of projects in the pipeline. The forum played a pivotal role in supporting the kingdom's efforts to achieve its aspirations regarding the economic recovery plan by providing the platform to discuss initiatives aimed at revitalizing the national economy, spurring growth, creating rewarding jobs and boosting financial stability. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Under the patronage of the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Ism Khalaf, the Urban Planning and Development Authority organised an introductory workshop for the public and private sectors on the developments of the project to update the classifications and regulatory requirements for urbanisation in Bahrain in order to achieve a sustainable urban future and to develop the level of development and reconstruction in Bahrain. The workshop brought together a number of specialists in the government and real estate sectors to review the most important developments regarding the project to update classifications and regulatory requirements for urbanisation. The speakers at the workshop emphasised that the project comes in fulfilment of the requirements of urban and real estate development and is a translation of the national policies in support of the urban sector. The Minister of Labour and Social Development and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil bin Mohammed Al Medan, met with the Director General of the International Labour Organisation, the ILO, Guy Ryder, on the sidelines of the conference's 110th session. They discussed cooperation between Bahrain and the ILO, especially with Bahrain playing a pioneering role through its membership of the organisation's Board of Directors from 2014 until 2021 and the contributions it made as an active member. The Minister reviewed the latest labour achievements made by Bahrain within the framework of its keenness to achieve harmonisation between national systems and legislation and to ensure their compatibility with international labour standards, affirming the Kingdom's continued efforts towards creating many initiatives that reflect its commitment to international labour standards. He noted the Bahraini government's continuous endeavour to promote social dialogue between the government, employers and workers and the main pillar for developing relations between the various relevant parties and ensuring the stability of the labour market. Hemidan highlighted the initiatives and projects implemented by Bahrain within the framework of developing business and productivity, supporting the rights of the workforce and ensuring equality between different categories of workers ensuring the stability of labour relations during the pandemic and to overcome its effects on the national economy, the labour market and the economic recovery plan. Coinciding with Bahrain's celebration of World Environment Day, the Supreme Council for the Environment and the Bahrain Institute for Pearls and Gemstones at Adanat announced that the Kingdom had started working on a project to prepare a blacklist of invasive alien plants and animal species. On this occasion, the chairperson of the board of the Arab Regional Centre for World Heritage, Sheikh Amay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, stated that the environment is an important factor in preserving antiquities and ensuring their sustainability, stressing that Bahrain's outstanding contributions to overcoming global environmental challenges also benefit the preservation of antiquities and human heritage as a whole. For his part, the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and CEO of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Dr Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, affirmed that Bahrain's celebration of the World Environment Day embodies the Kingdom's commitment to dealing with global environmental issues, 
noting his pleasure with the efforts of partners in organising the National Workshop to launch the project of preparing the blacklist of invasive plant and animal species. Marking the World Environment Day, which is observed on June the 5th every year, Bahrain is celebrating the occasion under the theme, We Only Have One Land, which focuses on living sustainability and sheds light on the need to bring about transformation changes to build trends towards healthier and greener lifestyles. Bahrain marks the occasion alongside the rest of the world as part of the endeavours which focus on the importance of ensuring sustainable societies, enjoying health and well-being. The World Health Day this year aims to urge individuals, societies and governments, as well as organisations all over the world, to do their best to overcome the environmental challenges and protect the planet and health. The World Environment Day is an opportunity to highlight the importance of protecting the environment and promoting healthy cities, which has a positive impact on the quality of life and public health. <coughs> 